Hey guys, got Cameron from Cine Ceiling here. Uh, we're gonna go hop into this share screen for a minute. Um, basically, what we're going through in this video is how to bid a uh, large scale job profitably, particularly we're talking about a homeowner situation, uh, homeowners association situation. Um, before I go too into this, I'm gonna post the link to this article that I wrote in the the title in the um, description of this video. Basically, it goes over how to calculate your weekly cost um, or your cost of operating and all that jazz. It includes um, the cost and lifespan of your equipment, all non-job related expenses, materials, length of your ceiling season, labor, transportation costs, your wage, blah blah blah. You can break all this down once you calculate this. This article outlines how to go into it. Um, excuse me. Um, once you figure this out, I need to run these numbers before you even start bidding jobs. Um, and then, and then we're going to break out basically how to convert these numbers to uh, to a bid so for a second. this particular person has a home association has to do 250 driveways wants to bid it as profitably as he can but also stay competitive um he had mentioned he can do 100 driveways in a day 100 to 110 we're going to go off of 100 for simple math we do 100 in a day that translates to total project or total on the job time of 2.5 days i'm going to round this up to three days and why the reason i do this is in maybe maybe i'm wrong in this correct me if i'm wrong especially you guys that have a lot more experience the reason i do this is because there's probably going to be time associated with this job that is not necessarily you actually seal coding whether it be prepping at the shop unloading everything whatever it is you need to calculate that time and the money for, for that time needs to come from somewhere and it has to come from the project that it's associated with um you like you'll know like when you factor in i have 30 weeks to make 100 grand or whatever it is um there's not a whole lot of time to waste making that you need to make it from your jobs because you're not getting paid anyway else so we're gonna take turn this to three days total project time. And now we can calculate with this, knowing that this project is gonna take us three days. Um, we can calculate from our from our weekly numbers. We convert, divide by however many days a week you seal. Convert that, let's say you seal six days a week. You divide it by six times three or just divide it in half. You could do that too. Um, and calculate what your operating expenses are. And that operating expense can or doesn't have to include your profit from it. Um, I usually do it with the profit I need to make in a day from that. So like, so a breakdown of this would be, uh, we need to, and I'm just kind of spitballing here. Don't Don't take these numbers and run with them. These are not accurate to reflect anything. I'm just kind of coming up with them off the top of my head. Um, let's say you have a cost of goods sold, which would be your seal coat. Um, again, we're, we're not factoring in cracked seal for these driveways or anything like that. We're jumping in. This person said they could do 100 in a day. I assume that doesn't include crack seal. Um, that's just blow and go, blow them off, spray them, done, out. Um, we have a cost of goods sold. 250 driveways, I, they kind of all look like 600 square foot driveways to me. I could be wrong. Um, we're going to open this up. We have 250 times 600 square feet equals 1,550,000 square feet divided by whatever you get per square per gallon, however many square feet you get per gallon. Let's just say we're getting 100 square feet per gallon. You have 1,500 gallons of seal coat. And you're paying 250 a gallon, so we do 1500 times 250, 2.5. Yeah, cost of goods sold at 37.50 for your whole project. Now, let's say your overall operating expenses, including equipment depreciation, um, 
all non-job related expenses and all that jazz, as we talked about in here. Um, let's say we're just pulling a number out. Let's say it's a thousand dollars a week. We break that in half. You're sealing six days a week. You have five hundred dollars for this project, right? Op expense. Let's also say you have a few guys working for you, um, and you have labor costs of uh let's say four thousand a week we're going to cut that in half again because we're only working three days on this job and we have two grand this needs to include workman's comp and all that jazz payroll taxes etc um there's calculators for that on google Just google payroll calculator It'll tell you what your total cost is per hour or whatever. Um, and then we can factor in the owner's draw along with gross profit if you want. We're gonna do that for simplicity, try to keep this video short. Let's say the business has to gross $1,900 a week profit and that includes the owner's draw or the owner's pay. Um, this is more reflected to you guys that are that are um, single member LLCs, sole props, all that. If you're an S corp, you need to factor in your wage into the labor cost. Um, if you if you yourself are on actual payroll, um, so we're we're saying 1,900 a week. We're going to divide that by two. Um, that'd be 950 for this particular job. Again, dividing by two because we're calculating ceiling six days a week. Um, instead, we're basically making, um, we're doing this in three days, so it's half the time. So then you add in these costs together to, we have 3750. I'm gonna back up a little bit, just so that we're a little bit more accurate. It was 1900 a day because nobody runs 1900 a week. If you run a 1900 a week, you're gonna go bankrupt. Um, I'm just trying to keep this accurate for anyone that's watching this. If you're not super experienced in bidding, 1900 a day times three is 5,700. Now we're on the right track. Gross profit, 5,700. Okay, so we have, Cost of goods sold, thirty-seven fifty, plus operating expenses of five hundred, plus labor at two thousand. Oops. Ah, uh, shit. Let me fix this real quick. Okay, thirty-seven fifty, plus five hundred, plus two thousand, not two hundred, plus fifty-seven hundred. Eleven thousand nine hundred and fifty, right? <clears throat> so then you take eleven thousand nine hundred and fifty divided by the total project of one hundred fifty thousand square feet. Comes up with seven point nine cents a square foot. I don't know why I got the perch today. I guess I just do. I would round that up to eight if you want to. It's not gonna affect your overall cost too much on a project that big. You're probably not gonna win or lose by a hundred bucks. Maybe you will, I don't really know. Um, depends on how competitive your market is. Uh, so, by calculating this, we have all we have our ass covered in a lot of ways. Um, I 
so one, a couple big points to make. If all of your driveways are different sizes, you need to come up with the total amount of square footage you have. You can't just say, like, the reason I bring this up is, is I did a project this summer. Um, I went and looked at five of the driveways. We weren't doing the whole subdivision. We were doing half of it. Um, but it was a weird half. It was they weren't all just in a row. We weren't knocking out a whole street at one time necessarily. Um, we did a few, but <clears throat> the driveways I looked at were all 800 square feet. Of the of most of the driveways I didn't look at had had additions put on, um, and they ended up being closer to like 14, 1500 square feet. I didn't look at them. It added time, and worse off, it added a lot of materials costs that I had not factored in. I ended up losing seven grand in a very short amount of time on this project. And it took almost twice as long as I thought I would um, because I was too ambitious and how many driveways we could do in a day. Um, we, uh, we ended up doing very few driveways in a day, like less than 10 most days. Um, we, we were at kind of a bad time. I didn't have the system in place to do it. We were not being very efficient on this particular project. So you need to have a realistic number of what you can do in a day. Um, and, and, you know, you can be aggressive, but don't be too aggressive. You need to look at every single driveway, make sure they're all the same size. You need to know exactly what it costs you to operate. Um, and it's nice to know my total cost of operating is $5,000 a week or whatever it is. And then you can just add in the profit that you want to make. If you want to make a hundred grand, you know, is that realistic for your business? I don't know. Um, if you're a mom and pop operation, it's just you, you like you might, you might not make a hundred grand in a, in a year. Um, if you are, if you have 10 crews running around, if you're only making a hundred grand in a year, like, I'm sorry for you. Um, you need to know what it is you want to make. Is that number realistic? Um, how aggressive are you? How long can you seal all that to come up with basically your overall cost of operating and how much you want to make? That's all there is to it. It's not that complicated. Um, it's all just time, how much you're spending and all that jazz. Um, anyway, I hope this helps. We're going to sign off on out of here and, uh, and we'll see you on the next video. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm pretty active in all the seal coding pages except US seal coders um, because that guy kicked me out because he's a dick. So I'm in all the rest of them though. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, you can feel free to ask other people like Kevin Alford or any of the other big names. They know a lot more about bidding than I do. This is just a quick video I'm putting together to hopefully help some people that maybe don't know too much about it. Again, the link for this article about how to break out your numbers is going to be in the comments. I suggest you read it if you don't know a ton about bidding. That's all there is to it.